The U.S. and Russia have been in a nuclear arms race since the 1950s. But in the 21st century, Russia has created an unstoppable nuclear weapon, which the U.S. admits it has no response to. Let's look at how it works and why it could end life on the planet as we know it. Technology and warfare have swayed back and forth throughout the centuries. Sometimes the advantage is on the defender side. Other times it is on the attacker side. We're living in an era where the advantage in nuclear warfare goes to the attacker, and it's a very scary situation. The Poseidon missile is absolutely unstoppable. This is an underwater nuclear weapon which can be deployed from land or a submarine close by. The weapon is part torpedo, part unmanned submarine, as it can navigate on its own. Think of it as a nuclear torpedo drone with unlimited range. It has a nuclear-powered engine so can be programmed to strike any coast on the planet. At a speed of 70 knots, or 80 miles per hour, it is faster than any torpedo that would attempt to intercept it. It screams toward a coast and detonates, creating 1,600-foot tidal waves designed to destroy coastal cities. The U.S. has publicly admitted there is no counter-deterrence for it, and called it a terror weapon. But this isn't the end of the devastation. The Poseidon is encased in radioactive cobalt. The fallout from one of these explosions would make thousands of miles uninhabitable for decades. An attack on the west coast of the United States would be preferred, as the wind patterns would carry radioactive fallout inland. The Russians could easily target U.S. ports, thus strangling all foreign incoming goods. This would include food and medicine. The Poseidon could also target a naval fleet and completely destroy it. The missile is said by the U.S. to carry two megatons, which is a hundred times the explosion at Hiroshima. However, the Russians claim it can carry a hundred megatons. If that is true, it would only take one Poseidon missile launch to throw the world into nuclear winter. And God help us if more than one exploded. Officially, the U.S. doesn't even know what these missiles look like, so it is strange to me that the U.S. can say it is only two megatons and not a hundred. I suppose the true strength of the weapon might lie somewhere in between the Russian and U.S. propaganda machine's estimations. Scarily, there are even rumors that Putin has these weapons hooked up to a Dr. Strangelove-style doomsday weapon. In other words, if any nuclear explosion goes off in Moscow, a computer launches them to their targets automatically. As Putin is quoted saying at the start of the war, Why do we need the world if Russia is not in it? Let's just hope tensions relax and we never have to find out for ourselves.